Greetings, dorks. This is Unchowder. Hello. Uh, Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> Hooray. Um, I don't ha I still don't have a real good way to just start off a VOD here. Don't care. Just, uh, we're, we're here to play Dwarf Fortress. It's, that, it's really that simple. Uh, we just started a new fortress last week. Yeah, this is episode number two on a brand new fortress. It's great fun. We made a miniature fortress. Sorry, I just scarfed some mac and cheese. <laughs> so I'm going to try not to be gross. But uh, we're working on our little tiny fortress. And I have been continually messing with the sound settings. Um, we got some we got some auto ducking going on uh, for our music. Hopefully it's not too distracting. I, I did fiddle with the settings a bit. It's not it's not doing as much as it was uh, when we were doing Sekiro on Saturday. So I, like I want the music to be audible, right? It's good music. I have it on for a reason, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So if it's if it's too much, tell me. If it's too little, tell me. I, I want to know. And now I can't I can't see my buttons behind cat butt. Here, let's just switch over to here. I want why always always with this this thing. There we go. Okay, I can put this over here. And then now we have a fortress. Um, there's not a whole lot to to talk about, except you will see some blueprints. I made some things, uh, but yeah, let's check out. Here's here's our fortress. <laughs> here's our entire map. Just one world tile. I made it as small as possible. This is the smallest world. This is the smallest game area you can have. Um, and that'll help keep the game running smoothly, uh, is my intent. Um, but yeah, we got, uh, it's midwinter, we got some snow, we got some ice. Uh, you can't see it here, but you can see in the map here, we have a, we have a little river going through here. There's some ponds over here, but it's totally frozen over. We got a whole bunch of trees. You can see, like, on, on one level you have all the trunks. I don't know if I've actually, like, shown the trees off. Our last fortress was so dead. So sad. <laughs> but we have living trees. Um, so you can see as you go up in levels, you can see all the branches kind of branch out and these will change colors with the seasons and we got a bunch of berries that dropped at the in the fall. I don't think we grabbed them all. Saplings, needles. Right. Pine, pine seed cones. Yeah, and then we're gonna like make saplings and continue growing and like stuff. Like our, our last... <laughs> <laughs> Last fortress was not growing plants, uh, aside from inside. Um, we have a little pasture going. We have breached our first cave, so we have cave moss growing inside. Um, and then we have this little ramp coming down. We have a little temporary place where we just unloaded our wagon, basically. Um, but then you have come down a little bit more. We have this neat little spiral structure going down. And down and down and down. Um, and it'll keep going. I, I designated more, uh, but we've we found our cave. It's down quite a ways. Jeez, yeah. Uh, level starts on level seven. Down through level negative five. Yeah. Um, we have aspirations of building in here. We could do a farm in here. We could have our our pasture in here. But it's it's quite far down. If I'm being perfectly honest. Um, so that might not be ideal, but we'll see what the what the options are, I guess, as we go. Um, our we don't actually have a farm set up right now, mostly because we have food on the ground. My goodness! Um, so we're we're harvesting plants off the ground and and we're brewing stuff. Um, here's our our dining hall uh, and and kitchen area. We're still this is like one of the last things we did, so this is all kind of brand new. Um, we have bedrooms here. We have two levels dug out, and these are 12 each. So we have 24 bedrooms and our space for 24 or more. And that will be all the bedrooms we need in this whole dang fortress. My goodness. Uh, we're capping out at 50 dwarves. So after after nobles' quarters and things like that, then, then 50 bedrooms or 48 bedrooms will be plenty. So that's cool. 
The other thing you'll notice, so that's all the stuff we did last time. We did all this in one go, one stream. Um, the other thing you'll notice are some plans in here. And this is, this is something I want to work on today, but the whole point of this nice little spiral coming down, down around, um, you can see we have a little hallway and then a ramp down and then a hallway and a ramp down and a hallway and a ramp down, etc, etc. I want to make some waterfalls in here as well. Uh, so specifically what's going to happen, if you see just like one of these middle levels, this tile right here will be a vertical shaft. We'll, be a, we'll, we'll channel it out. And then there will be a hole here, but this is going to be like a grate. It's going to be bars or something like that. And then we're going to put some floor grates on the ground here. So water will come from up above. This is a, a water channel. It'll flow this way, drop down. It'll do a waterfall past our passage and fall down one more and come into this little collection trough. And then it'll mist through the bars, make everyone happy as they're walking past. And then we'll have some floor grates here for any water that wants to splash out. It will splash onto these grates and then fall down, also into the same collection trough. So all the water is coming back into this channel and it's going to drop right back down again. Do the exact same thing, go across, and then go across, and go across. That's what's going on here. And you'll notice that each time the water falls, it goes two levels, but we have waterfalls on every level. So we just have it crisscrossing. We have water going from here to here and then down two and then back across and then down two and then back across. So they're just crisscrossing through the middle there. Everything will be perfect. This is surely to work the first time and need no adjustments. <laughs> um, but this is my intent. And then you'll see on the side here, we have space for a pup stack. And this will be the thing that takes more effort. Just digging all the channels will not take too long. Uh, I think we can get that going. Uh, but we have a little reservoir at the bottom here. It's going to be two, two levels deep. And then our two crisscrossy channels as they come down, come down through here from the level above and then from here from two levels above. Yeah, exactly. Accumulate here and then we'll have a pump and it will just pump all the way up back up to the top when it pumps out to here and then it will drop down into here and into here. And that'll be it. It's going to be a completely closed loop water system. No involving the river or anything like that, except for when we like, we'll have to initially fill the river. Hi creature. Or we'll have to fill the reservoir. We'll have to introduce enough water into the system that it has enough. And we'll want to have a way to top it off. It won't need a constant influx of water, but because we are dealing with waterfalls and mist and splashing and a door of walking through water, uh, there's the possibility for uh, for a little bit of evaporation or, or water loss through the system, all told. So all that means is we will just need to have a way to kind of open a gate, let a little bit more water in and close the gate and then be good. Hi. How are you? <laughs> um, yeah, so that part I didn't figure into here yet. Um, I just wanted to get enough. I guess let's go ahead and unpause. Um, I wanted to get enough of that system planned so that I knew how much space I needed that we need to reserve for it. So I'm not accidentally like like, you know, building something in here and making everything difficult. I almost, we, we almost were fine. Um, you can see here, hey, 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 hey. Um, this, this waterfall here um, is, is just, we got one tile too close. If I, if I gave my, meow, I, we made our dining hall one tile smaller. Everything would have been perfect. Um, but as it is, I think we did pretty good at avoiding our spots. Like, see, I left all of this alone. Mer. Do you have thoughts too? Anyway, 
Um, we're going to let them work a bit. We made this. Don't leave the microphone alone, please. <laughs> we are getting tables and chairs set up in our dining room. We're setting up our uh, our food stocks uh, and such. This is going to be our food stock pile and all of our kitchen places. Me. Um, got two stills. We already got flies in here. People already... What? Meh. Can you hear her at all? Here. Into the microphone. What do you have to say? Nothing. <laughs> um, yeah. So we made this dining hall, and I was seeing... It says the dance floor is 1 by 16. I don't know why I can't figure out that this is the bigger square here. <laughs> kind of weird. Whatever. Um, no, leave it. I don't need you messing with my new expensive arm. <laughs> um, but like, there's people socializing in here already. Look at this. Uh, there's dogs. Got some dogs. We got a rooster. Leave it alone, please. What was that? A little worm on the ground? What was that? Uh, oh, and a snail. <laughs> oh, look. Tiny little little polt sprite. Uh, Dingo Woman Lasher. We already have a visitor. That was quick. Did we? Did that just happen? Where's... Okay. Yeah, Dingo Woman. Visitor has come asking questions and to relax. She is seeking information about the location of lovely searches, the moist speechlessness. I wish you luck. Um, she's a group. Oh, the Contingent Seals. Wasn't that something that we had in our last fortress? Legendary Treasure Hunter. Is she from our fortress? It's contingent seals. I mm, is there a good way to look up? Yeah, fine. Uh, our elder ring is here. Yeah, site government, the contingent seals. So that here's a dingo woman treasure hunter who has come from elder ring and is visiting our new outpost on the hunt for treasure. Whatever lovely searches the moist speechlessness is. I wonder if that's one of the I wonder if that's one of the things that got stolen. And she's out hunting for it. That'd be kinda cool. I'd have to like look that up. Um Speaking of a Crundle. We have a Crundle. In the cave, of course. Oh look at all these crundles. Yes, yes. Hello, Crundles. They are luckily relatively harmless, though, of course, having 20 of them on the map. Whatever. <laughs> I will take 20 crundles over 200 fish people. That's for sure. Um, became a wrestler. We're making stuff. We made some nest boxes. Um, let's see. Things blocking sites. I think those will get sorted out as they go. Here's some fish. Um, our kitchens have been built. We have a butcher shop. We have a fishery. All these pond turtle shells? We don't have a place to put those, do we? Um, so we can come up here. We're digging out all this too? Yeah. Um, so let's put... Let's make a bone stockpile. Right. Uh, this button. Like that. And a bone stockpile is a refuse stockpile that we forbid some types on. Um, so we don't want corpses or body parts. We want skulls, bones, shells. I'm gonna say not teeth. We had so many teeth last time. Um, and heron wool. 
we'll go somewhere else, I think is the smart thing. Um, I do want to I do want to get a yarn industry going. That was really good last time. Between yarn and silk. I would rather do all of our clothes with yarn and silk than mess with um mess with pigtails again. That was hard mode a little bit. Um, so we'll do that. We're gonna need more more storage place very quickly, but now that I know where I can't dig, I know where I can. And it's like everywhere else. Um, so here's our workshops. We got some stone workers. We got mechanic, boyer, two carpenters. We got our craft dwarves. Um, we got our, our hives in here. Cool jugs. All that should end up down here in our furniture stockpile, in theory. Hopefully. Um, and then we have what? Loom, clother. Mm. How do we... Well, we're definitely not... We're not collecting silk yet, because we don't have any yet. We're not collecting yarn yet, because we don't have much. Where, where are we? We're here. We have... I could even... I just... Look here. Duh. Pets. Two dogs, two cats, a billy goat, a llama, a yak, and we have a breeding pair of donkeys. I wish we had another goat or a llama. If we could get a, a female llama, that'd be fantastic. Um, we have turkeys. Uh, we can we can set up nest boxes for our for our turkeys. It's gonna be down here. Let's say whenever, some of this space is gonna be for like um, screw presses and mills and that kind of a thing. Um, let's see, raw pond turtle, excellent. So maybe up here we make some nest boxes. I think that'd be fine because we're, we're just got a little stairwell here for the food stockpile. So I think that'll be fine. Uh, the workshops, their nest boxes. I do. What's the best way to do this? Hey, okay. Um, maybe we'll just here cancel, cancel. No, not this button. Arm, nest box. Like this. I'm not gonna make individual walls and such for them at the moment. Um, we can. So there's the auto nest box function of DF hack that we were using last time. I don't have it turned on. Hello, Slabgorb. Welcome to new tiny fortress. I'm just getting kind of food stuff set up here. Um, debating if I'm turning on auto nest box. Do, do, do. We don't have our nest boxes set up in individual spots right here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let them go. They can figure it out. We have like one whole turkey. <laughs> Fine. Um, as far as crops go, we got some stuff. We have we have nothing worth cooking. Hmm. I guess I guess we can do that for now. We're we're not actually growing any food right now. We're just um, foraging from the surface. I think that would be fine. Oh, we don't want to cook our booze. This should really just be turned off by default. Um, we could do... Auto nest box is good when you want chickens and not eggs. Yeah, that's true. That's what I ended up using for... Um, we were domesticating ravens in our, in our previous fortress, and that's what eventually got it to work. It was really fiddly. Um, but eventually we got some a couple generations of ravens going, so we had some domestic... Some domestic wild ravens. Or domestic ravens bred from wild ravens. 
But right now, we, I just care about eggs. Food. Um, and then... Did snakes and found out what the description was when you have 12 children at once? What? I'm curious. I've definitely not, not done that. And it's always funny to think of snakes and eggs. Like, of course, but... A very long word. Hmm. Strange. Now I'm curious. Um, I also discovered... Let's do, let's do this. Uh, let's say whip wine is valid for cooking. Uh, let's see. Oh, and there, look at all the turtles showing up. Um, whip vine. Duo decuplet. Duo decuplets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Because <laughs> deck... Cause deck the deck deck decaplets or deck like deck tuplets anyway um i learned that it's already winter again geez we have lentils we have here whip vines happy thought yeah i mean if if 12 children doesn't bring you joy then that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, anyway, I found out that whip vines are like the highest value raw crop. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna be harvesting all the whip vines that we can um, and turning them into like flour and booze and stuff. Um, yeah, Tarn looking up all those words. Yeah, no kidding. I've, I feel like I've learned a couple words from this game. Prepared meal barrel for 28,000, yeah. Um, that's the goal. So, like, whip fine isn't, like, dramatically. It's like there's there's some crops are worth one, and some crops are worth two, and whip vine is the only one worth three as a base value. And it only grows in savage biomes, is what I've learned which we are in. I, this is Untamed Wilds. Um, you can see our, our giant stoat friend has been here for quite a while. Um, and we haven't had too much else happen yet. Cross your fingers. We're going to start... We've chopped down a lot of trees, so I think we're going to start agitating things sooner rather than later. Um, we have this stockpile. just has, like, everything in it. That's okay for now. Those don't have replacements yet. We, we're taking out our beds. Space for levers. Did we hook up our levers? We did. Perfect. So. Um, I'm hoping that... Okay, I gave everyone a lot of jobs, and then now everyone's made things and not moved things around. Oh, and hives. I want to put beehives somewhere. Do we just put them on the surface? Now here's the question. I mean, we could put beehives just in here for now. This, this, I'm thinking of this as a kind of a temporary wall. Yeah, I don't know. Crundles in the caves. Make bed needs logs. Are we already out of logs? One of these is wood. This one's wood. Hmm. I. Let's see, I don't want to chop the bayberries. Here's a pine. Well, I also learned... So we have high woods, we have pines, we have bayberries, which produce berries, and we have larch, I believe. Yeah, we have larch. We also have high wood. And apparently high wood is kind of special. High wood is also a savage biome only tree. And they apparently... Like their name implies, they grow really tall. Um, and I don't think any of these are especially tall right now. These are all kind of the same size. But apparently highwood can have like real thick trunks. Like up to 3x3 three three sized trunks. And then just go really, really tall. So I might leave some of the highwoods just because that's cool. Um, but we're definitely leaving the bayberries. We'll have a nice little... Um, 
grove. We'll have a berry grove by the time we're done here. Uh, there's a larch. That's bayberry. That's larch. Bayberry. Pine. Pine. Larch and pine. Yeah, let's do that. And we don't have elf neighbors, so we can cut them all down without pissing off the elves. We will be pissing off critters, because that's how critters work now. But that's fine. And look at all these, like, all these saplings. We have renewable resources. Ugh. Everything's grand. Um. But yes, um. And of course, this is all not gonna, <laughs> just gonna make single, single piles of everything. Just make the stockpile bigger, please. That's all you need to do. There's already... Flies everywhere. Um, well, I'm curious about this. 1 by 16. Like, that's so... It automatically kind of detects... Oh no, a thief stole a bucket. No! My bucket! <laughs> they take in my bucket. Does anyone remember that? Am I alone in that? That's really funny. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, must have been a bird, probably a giant key, stole stole away with our bucket. Um, anyway, trying to remember what we're doing. Oh yeah, so we, like the dining hall kind of gets its own, oh, bump, sorry, I've moved my... My microphone has a new position, and I'm trying not to smack it. Anyway. A dining room can have stuff in it, but then it wants to have, like, an empty space. And it automatically detects the empty space and calls that the, the dance floor. But it's only detecting a 1x16. Which is very strange to me. Because it's like it's detecting this side as the dance area. I don't think I've seen it do before. Um, I guess we could do... Of course, I also have a cat in front of my screen right now. What if we do this? Maybe break that up with a chest? Oh, that's true. I was just thinking of doing like uh, this. And then... Or even... I don't even need to go that far. Just go like... Go this. And then, in theory, now it detects, yeah, 10 by 11. And I'm going to make a new meeting zone. Like that. I'm going to uh, assign it to the same location. Does that work? 10 by 11, perfect. And then if I click on this, it's the same location. Okay. I've never had to do that before, but... That works. This is still one tavern, but this is the dance floor meeting area. This is the table meeting area. <laughs> so I guess that works. But in theory, they'll be able to make like little dances in here. Uh, maybe it depends on the build order. Maybe it is weird. I've never had to do that before. Um. Anyway, the one other adjustment we need to make. Oh, we can we can do this. Just make this bigger. More space for food and flies. Um, but I have I have all these blueprints in here for um, a waterfall situation going through our central spiral staircase kind of a situation. Um, and we got too close here, so I'm actually going to build a wall. Just along right here. So our, our dining hall is going to get one one shorter. Uh, and we have got all these jet blocks. Cool. Continue. We'll do that, and then that will all be good. What is also... So I'm trying to think of what our, what our priorities are right now. We have bedrooms, we have dining hall, we have some basic stockpile and a workshop situations. They are all going nuts on building stuff. Um, 
So I'm kind of giving them time to like actually keep these workshops clear. I, I have a tendency to like over over designate jobs and, and building stuff and all the workshops end up completely full and, and clogged and that's generally not good. I'm trying to be better about that. Anyway, um, I have clothers set up here, but we don't have raw materials for clothers. These logs. We're making rock crafts. That's all fine. Oh, we have sh shells showing up. Okay, so we, we're making rock crafts. <laughs> oh, jeez. Maybe, maybe hold off? No, they just all need to go in a crate. Just someone put them in a crate and we'll be fine. Um, because this has its own work order. Maybe... Debating if I make a, a... Use a second workshop for a bone craft work order, or if I just... Do it on the same one. I think I'm just gonna do the same one. Because we don't need two full craft orders cranking out crafts full time yet. Um, but we're just gonna do bone crafts there, and then this will become. We'll do we'll do it like this, and it's gonna be a restart. As long as you have unrotten bone body part, so we don't have bones. We have shells so far. Um, so let's, we'll do that, but we, it's not going to do anything yet. So then, let's do sh No, this is a loom. Can't make shell crafts out of loom. Anyway. <laughs> shell crafts. Creature. There's a monster lurking on my desk, under my desk. Uh, okay. And then this will also check daily unrotten shells, more than 10. Perfect. So now we'll use all of our turtle shells to turn into turtle shell crafts. We'll sell them to some humans. That'll all work. Uh, we have beds going. We're gonna have these. Is that too many beds? No, there's only a couple there. These are all furnished. Yeah. We'll also want to get chests and cabinets going. Look at all our food. Longland beer roast. Yeah, we, we cooked all our beer, of course. Wolverine sweet bread roast. Cool. I don't remember killing a wolverine. We do have a hunter, though. Human bowman is fighting. Human Bowman's upper body takes the full force of the impact. You just fell? Where'd you fall? Hmm. How did you... Interesting. Did I... Did I make something dangerous? I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh... I wouldn't expect that to be dangerous. Make bone crafts, make bone body part. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And look, they're all they're all socializing. They're eating in the dining hall. Amazing. That wall got built. Okay. So now that it's spring, I wanna get maybe in this this calendar year, let's get our water works going. I wanna do the waterfall thing. We already have a grumpy person. A carpenter. Why are you grumpy? Stressed. It was snowing. Okay. Well, it's called winter. And we are quite far north. So you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, great musical sense. Rarely has a really bad memory. Okay. Uh, where's... Where do I put thoughts? Memories. Uh, yeah, let's 
so do do do. Okay, so this person has a whole history of things. Uh, but most recently, a shame's dwelling upon having no f no shoes. Oh, we need to make shoes. <laughs> Bad memory, you'll become Baroness. Yes. <laughs> um, fondness, remembering I'm making a friend. Yeah, the clothing situation is going to become a problem sooner rather than later. I'm hoping we can maybe we can buy some llamas with our crafts soon. That would be nice. Um, at any rate, right this moment, what I want to do, I guess I want to wait till our, our river thaws a bit. Yeah, let's let's wait for the river to thaw. We're in early spring, so it's gonna be it's gonna be shortly. I'm also not sure if this is gonna be our permanent location for our pen. It is just one level below the surface, which makes it kind of dangerous with all these trees. It's just gonna poke a hole. Um, but we have rock like one level down, so it's kind of our only silt level. Which I think, I mean, we're going to want a, a, a top side structure, so I think ultimately what we're going to be doing is making a wall around the bulk of our map here and having some kind of surface structures. And then, I mean, do we, f do we make our wall big enough that we can have trees inside, or do we have an inside structure and then have trees outside? I'd rather, I kind of want to have our fruit trees be defensible. Of course, they're all on the edges. So we're gonna have to like promote berry growth inside. Uh, here's a high wood, here's a lentil, larch. Here's a bayberry, that's perfect. Y'all have different sprites, my goodness. And then we also have like blueberry bushes, just straight up blueberries. Um, so I want there to be a, a top side structure here that includes some trees. Maybe we do, like we do more of this top end than this bottom end. We have a river here. Or actually, we we built this wall across the river, even. Of course, yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what we'll. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let's start. Let's start a wall. Um. So our. We definitely want to include. Our pasture. I don't. We can't build that close to the edge. We can dig that close to the edge. We can't build that close to the edge. We can build here. Now we'll just make a little marker. I think we're gonna have a lot of oh, rock salt. We have so much rock salt. Jet is way cooler though. Um, so if we make that one corner. Then we could come across to here and make this other corner. I have to chop down all these trees to do so. And if we come up all the way here, this would be our other corner. Now, one thing to consider when doing this, we're building as close to the edge as our wall can go, but we're going to end up with all these trees growing up just outside our wall, which means we're going to have branches overhanging our wall, which means goblins and such can climb up a tree and across a branch and over the wall. If we did nothing else, if all we did was build a wall here and then let these trees grow outside, we have some climbers get inside. Um, and the typical way that I've been dealing with that is to make a road. 
The main thing is, can we build a road all the way to the side? We can. So, are we are we building a road completely around like the full outside of our wall? It's quite a bit of road. Um, and then obviously, I already built that one. <laughs> Our river, our river starts like right here. We might not have to on this side. Like obviously, there's a couple, a couple trees here, so maybe just over here. Um, but then, like this area down here, will remain like the wild outside area, and we'll just have our entrance kind of right on top of our brook. But we would want to cut down literally every single tree that's around the border, and every tree that's in line of what the the wall would be like all all these and then everything else would just stay inside and then we would chop the larch and the pines inside but leave all the bayberries and then we'd be okay is that i think that's the smart thing because then we'll have a space inside and, you know, the goblins show up, we can still get to our trees because we are currently so dependent on our forgeables. I think keeping them secure is a good idea. So, I'm curious what our rock stocks are. We found a uh, jet very quickly. Doop -doop. Do stones. Not not rocks, but stones. We have probably multiple layers of just rock salt, is what I'm guessing. Oh, there's already hematite and coal and lignite. Oh, and platinum? Wow. Perfect. Um, and a little bit of jet. So I'm curious. We got microcline and chalk. Chalk and bauxite, wow, and kalanite, all good stuff. Um, and here's here's jet. Okay, and then anything below? No, maybe it's just this one level. Uh, so I'm gonna have them dig out some this way, strictly for the purposes of rocks, which is kind of hilarious at this point. But I'll take it. Um, we're going to want to move our our levers downstairs at some point. I guess now that we have a dining hall, we have a place where we can put our, our levers. That will be kind of central. So I typically, I like to put them next to the meeting areas. So that there's always someone right there who can just put down their beer roast and go across the hallway and pull a lever. Doesn't ever work out that way, but that would be the ideal. Um, but there, we can just put... Uh, we can put a little doorway in through there. We could even put a doorway in through here, so if someone's coming from the bedrooms, just come up and, and pull a lever. Of course, that gives a way to get from the bedrooms to the dining hall without going through my waterfall, so maybe I don't want to do that. But that's fine. Um, so we'll dig out that, and we'll put levers there. Our foo is looking as good as it can. Got a bunch of bins and barrels and good stuff. Okay. Someone could put all the crafts away, that'd be cool too. And like, bone stockpiles don't get bins for whatever reason. Whatever. Um, okay, yeah, look at all this jet! Okay. Uh, we have a handful of work orders going, but I don't think any of these are bit are, um, blocks, rather. I didn't, I just kind of gave them a make all blocks order at the start um so i think and then and that stopped right no one's just continually making blocks right now yeah just doors and such um so i'm gonna say nope that 
make me some rock blocks. And they're going to be made out of jet specifically. And we will... Uh, five at a time is fine, but just keep, keep going. So long as there is some jet. And that should work. There's closer rocks for all this other stuff. They'll just keep making rock salt crafts. That should be fine. So. And of course, our, our actual entrance here is not within our wall border, but this was kind of a... It's going to be a temporary thing anyway. It was kind of my thought. Why is this... One wall didn't work? Fine, whatever. And then we have... Okay, we have even more pond turtle shells. Jeez. We have one fisher person? Is that really... We have one person fishing, and they're just... Cranking out all these pond turtles. Oh, what were you? Was that an owl? Giant great horned owl. Neat. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna get as much of our stuff underground as we can. I was just thinking, I want to make uh, I want to make some beehives. Maybe we can just put them on the surface in our courtyard. No. We'll we'll dig a little pit for them. Uh, anyway, I really want to, I want to be able to see our river here. Maybe we'll, we'll just start on these other sides. Um, so we can start like this. We'll just do jet. Giant flying things are tough. Yeah, no kidding. I have two people, uh, running around with, oh, there's one too far. Uh, what you may call it, crossbows. Um, yeah, we're going to have to chop all these gorgeous trees down. Hopefully some of these can turn into... Well, maybe I'll, I'll leave the trees for as long as possible to give them a chance to reproduce themselves inside. I wish I could plant trees on purpose. Like, they're dropping pine cones and stuff. Like, large seed cones. Like, I could just put that in the ground on purpose. But no. Anyway. Um, all that to say... We're gonna want... Let's see. So we're gonna want a way through here. And then... A farm? Right? Then... All these cages. There's all gems, leather. Oh, we do have some leather. But I don't have a lot of leather. Not enough to just tell them to start making shoes, I don't think. Leather? No. Uh... Leather under. Hand hides. Yeah. We don't have much. Uh, anyway, let's do. Hmm. I feel like I have to decide what the. what, like, our entrance situation looks like. Oh, and see, now we have... We got holes now. See, that's exactly what you want to avoid. Um, construct wall. I already made another 22. Okay. Continue. And we'll just do... Perfect. So... I wonder if large seed cones. I wonder if them being on the ground 
promotes them actually growing or if it works that way. Like if I if I leave these bayberries around, oh, these are all these are all pine seed cones. Okay, so that's, we didn't actually leave many berries on the ground. Cloud berries. Yeah. Um. Okay. So if we're thinking about our entrance, the things that we need to consider are where does the trade depot go? Does it just stay on the surface? It could just stay on the surface. Let the humans deal with all the giant flying owls. That's not the worst thing that you could do. Um, or we could have, you know, a trader entrance that comes down here and have the traders end up here or something. Um, and then have a different, maybe just have a different entrance for our dwarves, more in the center. Just come down. Uh, this is our, our central stair right here. I could kind of retrofit this so that it comes up. And then it would come through here. And then we would have an entrance here. And then we could, and that would be more central to our to our wall situation, so we could put some defensive structures around it to try and prevent things from sneaking in. Wow, the wall's already built. Amazing. Um, so that's an option. I'm curious what that would look like. We we'd want to. Erase all this. You know, while I'm while I'm noodling through this, I do wish <laughs> I went our I went our river to thaw. Um, I want to. I guess let's just have them dig. I want them to dig my my little waterwork situation here. Um, because we could also. I mean, where's our, our reservoir is going to end up down here. We don't have a well yet. We could use our reservoir as a well, because why not? It would be... It would be here, but we could move it. If we had it... If we had our reservoir here... We just need to make sure... What if we did this? We just want, like, one or two wells. This could be, like, here and here. Doesn't need to be more complicated than that. Uh, but then we would do... Right? This would all be fine. This is this would be a walkway, but we'll just get rid of this. I'll just we'll come down this far, and that's fine. So now instead of our instead of this being our reservoir, then this will be our reservoir, and we still want it to come down to here because this is where our pump stack is. Then we would just get rid of these. So our water's coming down from here. Right, and here, and and these three. Okay. So then really we're just uh, whatever. We'll be we'll be digging all this soon anyway. Oh. Oh, there, yeah. Okay. Something like this. So now water's coming down through here and through here, and then flowing into our reservoir. 
rid of this and replace it with this. And then our pump stack is taking in from here. And then our wells are taking from this side. I think that makes sense. Because then we have a completely closed loop water system for our well and our waterfalls. And they're the, just the same system. Doesn't need to be more complicated. I don't know why. That got... Oh, come on. And then in order to dig that... Of course, now we can just disassemble the walls we just constructed. Maybe we'll do like this. And then our, our little room will look like this. And we can put like soap in the corners. Um, oh, careful, 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 careful. <laughs> uh, well, I wasn't quite ready. Okay. Um, we'll just put some stairs in. Probably the safest way to do this. You're going to have the stairs go all the way down into the bottom of the reservoir so there's a way to get out. That's the smart thing to do, right? There. That not... Here. Come on. Stop. There. All right. Is that is that right? Channel all that out. Dig all this out. Channel this out. Uh, which means realistically, we don't actually need to designate this stuff. It'll become dug out once we channel this. So that will be fine. I'm also going to tell this to be stairwell down for for those purposes. Um, and then we'll tell him to dig all of this. And then that will be fine. And then we also need to talk about the pump stack and how it receives power. Which will be a whole pain. Oh no! We did skip a cave. That's what I was worried about. Oh, and we got so... Oh, we got close. Okay. Well. Okay. So we found two caves then. That means we make adjustments. So here. Stop. Stop digging. You can dig that. That's fine. Kind of. Um, but that means that this level will be our bottom level. I guess I do want... Stairs... Here, still. Do channel that. Um, we do... We want a floor here. Whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well then. That's not too bad. It does essentially mean that we're going to take all the stuff that we designated for these levels and tell them to forget it all. I don't know. We're, we're going to replicate this structure, but we're going to replicate it up a bit. Uh, so this goes away, and I think this goes away too. Because this will be the bottom of the cistern. I'm just even going to, like, what we're doing. We're going here. Yeah. Nope. 
And these, these are going to be channels. Right? It's the same as, as that. Four wide. Yeah. Then... Of course I erased our, our pump stack, but that's fine. Because um, that's just this. And then that. And that will be fine. There's level one. Or no. No, oh, there's all all sorts of junk. So we actually we want to be channeling on the level above. Right. Well, actually, okay, so that's actually fine. We're channeling here. We're not digging here. This is just our, our reservoir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then our water is coming from these three and this one. And then instead of, well, I guess, it, instead of this. Right, because we have water coming from here and these three, so that. And then they could just take that together. And then, and then really, it could just come down like this. Go like that. And then it will all flow into there. And then we can have a stairwell that goes like that. And then we'll be okay. Okay, I think that's all we have to do. I think. <laughs> um, some migrants have arrived. Hooray! Well, let's check them out. Who do we got? Uh, we have Tekud is a adequate clother and a novice engraver excellent and then udib uh, did not like being in a, a blizzard um a diagnostician and a record keeper okay well cool. just the two of you oh no here's another cog high master carpenter adequate animal trainer and another turkey does anyone have a llama um, and Nificata Soap Maker. I'm curious. So they're part of our civilization, obviously, but they're from... So these are different governments from our previous castle, or fortress, whatever. Just the four of them. Okay. We have plenty of bedrooms for you. That's totally fine. This whole... Snow-covered, dense mountain avens. What are avens? Doesn't actually don't actually tell me, does it? Anyway, still waiting for our river to thaw here. <laughs> um, okay, uh, we probably have more wall to build. Go ahead and just designate what we can. Yeah, look, fifty-one jet blocks. Cool. Do it. Oh, we need two more than that. Okay. Continue. Perfect. Whoa. Um, see, we have a bayberry in here. There's one. There's a larch. There's a pine. There's a bayberry. So this will be fine. Look how fast everything's going. Oh my goodness. If we can keep it a steady 50-ish this whole time, I would be so happy. We we'll probably won't get quite that smooth, but I mean, it's going to be smoother than the other one. Um, okay, we have migrants. Uh, Maceman is visiting. Oh, who's... We got, we got stuff going on. Human bowman punches the diagnostician. Why is the bowman... Grabs the stray dog. 
Human bowman, what are you doing? Human hunter. Asking questions. This is... We have multiple visitors here looking for this specific artifact. Lovely searches the moist speechlessness. We saw a dingo woman who was looking for the same thing. You too. What is this thing that they are all... Everyone is looking for? Why are they here? Um... Where did our... Where's our human bowman? <laughs> I'm... Uh, ooh, rodent woman blowgunner? Oh, these are in the cave. Rodent people? Oh, we're switching out our, our, uh, our fish people for rodent people. Perfect. Oh, is this... They were... They've been fighting cave crocodiles and... Helmet snakes. Interesting. Giant... Giant bat blood, rodent man blood. Okay. Uh, we have... We have this... Floored off, so we're... We're sealed in again. Uh, except that this goes... It says it's down, but it doesn't actually go down. Hopefully there's no way in. I think that's fine. I guess we'll see. If something just pops up in our dining hall, <laughs> we'll find out real quick. Um, I do want to put some doors here and here. And I'm curious if we actually have all the things for a well. Uh, yeah, probably. We'll do that. We have bauxite blocks. We have a bucket. We have some rope. And we have some mechanisms. Perfect. We'll do we'll do the same thing. Continue. 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 That will be our well situation. This all got dug. Now. I do want to dig out the rest of this. I think I'm just going to turn on... Like, enable all of these blueprints. I guess I'm thinking about how they get in there to dig all this, but there's like technically an, an entrance on each on each floor, and they can get out from the bottom. So maybe I just tell them to go for it? The top one's going to be more difficult. That's fine. And just have fun. <laughs> we'll make passageways to anything that gets missed. Um, but that means we we want to make some floor grates. We're doing we're doing three floor grates per floor, right? And we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine floors. Wow, is that really all we have? This is gonna be a tiny, tiny fortress. Uh, but what? Nine times three is twenty-seven, right? Uh, so we'll just do, make me rock, floor, no, floor, crate, no, does it just crate? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, uh, rock, crate. Okay, and we can just make 30 of those, and let's make them out of rock salt. Because we have so much rock salt, apparently. Okay. I am... Mm. Oh, here comes some... Here comes another giant ulm. Look at these rodent people. That's a really funny sprite. Wow. Good job. Satisfied improving shield. 
Cool. Um, well, this cave isn't too big, right? Now we can <laughs> we can get rid of all this and all this. It's just it's all these tunnels. Rat people in the tunnels below the well. Hmm. That seems appropriate. Okay, so they will slowly start digging that, and we're making our our grates. Um, we do have. We're gonna want like kind of want to make bars for for the vertical wall, but that would require metal, wouldn't it? I can't make rock bars. No. Um. Because there's there's grates. We could do rock. We can do wall grates. Uh, can be built on any floor. Grates, unlike bars, have a quality and enhance the value of rooms. Can be connected to levers. Interesting. As opposed to bars, locks creatures allows passage of fluids and items. Can be built on any floors. Unlike grates, do not have quality can be connected to letters. So the only difference is that they don't have quality. Ooh, the items. Okay, so we'll just do we'll do wall grates. This means we'll want more total. Um, one per floor, and there was nine floors, so we'll, yeah, we'll just do 40. Keep it simple. Maybe we'll replace those with bars in the future. Uh, but there's apparently no real need to. Who is... Are people still the Sasquatch? The Sasquatch attacks the cat. Oh no! <gasps> Why is there a goat corpse? Why is the goat outside? Where? Hold on. What's happening? <laughs> There's a Sasquatch somewhere. Apparently. Uh. Still. We have the two rat people. We have three visitors. Giant stoat. Agitated. We have our first agitated creature. And a Sasquatch. Oh, but it's in a cage. We have caught a Sasquatch. Okay. Well, I'm glad we put those cage traps there. We, de we definitely need to get our wall going. <laughs> I wonder if they can climb. Uh, Sasquatch is fighting, so attacked a cat. Cat was fine, mostly. Um, and then a wrestler bashes a Sasquatch with her crossbow, and then it got stuck in a cage. Okay, I'm gonna say that's probably one of the better Sasquatch encounters <laughs> we can have. Um. Okay. With Maceman. Yeah, okay. Um, luckily we have... What did it get? Oh, so it must have just gone in that way. That makes sense. So I don't... Our pasture isn't linked with the rest of our fortress right now. There's just a stairwell down from the surface to the pasture, and then nothing else. Spattering of goat blood. So yeah, clearly it got in here. At least it didn't kill, kill the llama. That would have been much worse. However, um, yes, let's keep building a wall. Let's do chop. And then... Probably leave... A, um, we've got two bayberries here. I think we want to just want to come down a bit. With our wall. Here, let's do construct wall. Um, are jet blocks? No, no more yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, but we'll we'll bring our we'll bring our wall like basically right up to the edge here of of the brook. That's what this is. So we'll just do straight across here, and then we'll have a drawbridge that goes across the brook. Not that it matters that much, since it is floor anyway. I mean, we could mine all this out and make it a, 
a more traditional river. If we wanted to. I don't know if that's necessary. Um, look at all these flowers! Oh! Anyway, I've got barley growing up here. We should definitely have an above ground crop farm, even if, it, if it's not physically above ground. Um, like the the whip whip vines and and barley and yeah we can we can grow all this sort of stuff we'll just grow it down here um yeah okay so we're we're mining we're not having bone crafts because we don't have bones so fine we'll just get rid of the bone the bone job <laughs> just focus on shells and rocks that's fine Then we want to get in here for reasons. Um, let's just do. We'll just do it like this. That'll be a wait in. Yeah. See, now we've already got a whole bunch of this stuff. Do we want to remove these ramps? I don't think it really matters. Cause it, yeah. Well, we'll we'll find out. Um, let's build some floor grates. Probably have some, yeah. Rock salt grate. Rock salt grate. And these will all have quality too. I'm hoping. I guess we'll we'll see how this we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping that the ramp here will be okay. This is all... What were you trying... What's going on here? Uh, no, I guess that's fine. Well, because... That's because... What is that because? I don't know. <laughs> Things be weird sometimes. They'll, they'll go and do all that. Uh, we probably need to mine out more jet here. Because why not? Um, this... Because this is all jet. And... Really, this is all... I don't really care about this floor too much. I do want to make it so that we don't end up, you know... I don't want to do something bad, but I think just mining all this for jet is going to be fine. Uh, let's just do something like that. And make it look good from the start. Now, <laughs> the poor goat. Mm, make rock door dangerous terrain. Yeah. So I want to see people. I mean, most of the time they're gonna stay on the inside because that's the the inside path there, which is fine. Okay. So we're, we're digging our pump stack area. Okay. Um, and then you're you're stuck. <laughs> so then... Oh, this is going to be a walk... That's, a, that's just a walkway. So then how about we go... Like this. Just, yeah, you're fine. And then that will be how our... Power gets in? No, because that's this is all the way at the bottom. Whatever. Um, we're so because our brook freezes for so freaking long, it's still frozen. We're not going to be able to get reliable power out of water wheels on this map, which means we're thinking about windmills, which is part of the reason why I want to get a wall going, uh, so that we can. 
make, make some platform probably. Um, height doesn't actually matter for wind, apparently. Um, I was I was reading a whole Wikipedia page about wind in this game. Um, but I want to get them off the ground just so that we have all of this ground space for a nice little meadow here. Um, so we'll probably just build some build some windmills on stilts, basically. Um, and that's going to be the power. And again, we need to get water in here. And this is, so the pump stack is going to be here. It's pumping from here. So really, the water needs to just come in here. Um, here, no, hold on. Here. Just do everything else first, please. Um, we'll make this a bit wider so that water can come in as fast as it needs to. Yes. Be careful here. On oh, levers, we should make levers. But if our so there's ice here, there's a silt. Ice, ice. Maybe. Uh, let's go. We'll leave. We'll leave a a wall. I guess this could even just be stairs. Is this inside? will be so this our wall's gonna go here all right our wall's gonna be right in line with that ramp so we want to make so we want to go like here like here of course um but we can fix that we can build around and then there or Really? Okay. <laughs> it's like, I'll just move this over one, and then... <laughs> no, I'm doing it now. Um, okay. And then... I d we don't need this at all. Let's do it like this. Then that will be fine. This doesn't link to the surface. Okay, that's good. Not yet. Um, but this is just going to come this way. Here's here's ice, here's silt, here's that. And then we'll dig these two tiles from above, right? And then we'll just, we'll, we'll floor them back over. Right? Yeah. Um, and then we'll just build a wall around this. Whatever, that's fine. Go like this, and we'll, this can all be rock salt. This ain't important. I mean, it's important, it's not visually important. Well, that just goes down. Dorks, and I build, construct stairs. Go like from here to here. Does that work? No. It works. You can't can't dig a stair up. Hmm. Of course, it's already. Why is it already? Oh, because there's that's just there's water there. Cool. This is why I wanted the thaw, <laughs> so I can actually see it all. Um, okay. And of course, that's under that. I'm doing real good here. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put our trade depot. I'm just gonna widen this. Put it here and we'll say these three and they can come in here this will probably end up getting walled off completely and i'll have a completely separate entrance to the actual proper fortress um, but this will be our 
our trade depot entrance. I think that still makes sense. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and build our, our trade depot as well. Here. Like that. Oh, and we're saving. It's already summer. Man, the it, go, it needs to be like full on summer before our river thaws. Okay. So that's good. Um, I guess we can we can dig that. That's fine. And then we'll we'll put some floodgates here, which means we need to make some floodgates. We should probably have some floodgates just on hand. Um, let's also make these out of rock salt because that's fine. And then this will be a check if we have floodgates. Sure, I'll do it like that. And because we have our construction manager going, I think we can just do this. We'll go here. Right. And then I can use filter for remaining items. Yeah, there we go. It's just kind of the first time it has some um, floodgates available. I'm gonna do it. So we'll do one here so that we can close off the whole system from the not waterwork side. Uh, once we're done working on things, which means we need to make a bunch of levers. And those can go here. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna make some levers. Might as well get going. We want a door here. We got like jet doors in the jet wall. Mm, I love it. Um, okay. So they appear to be. I guess I want to see someone using. I want to see someone going from the tile onto the ramp and continuing up, or vice versa. Just curious if I. I mean. So there's a slope here. I'm wondering if I need to get rid of these slopes, if that would do anything. Shouldn't really matter. Oh, petition. Idur Redskinned wishes to reside in Face Earths for the purpose of eradicating monsters. Well, I'm not going to open the caves for you yet, but there's like Sasquatches and giant stoats on the surface. So if that's what you count as a monster, then go for it. Have at it. Um, okay, so then let's build our. We can do some wall gates, gates, whatever. Not just. Okay. Didn't pick a specific one. Um, this goes here, and then we got our floor grates here. Yes, yes. I wonder why one is asking me for specifics and the other isn't. Oh well. Um, like here, this one doesn't have ramps. I'm, I'm. Things are getting a little strange just because I'm like I designated the channel from above and the mine from below, um, which is not. A smart thing to do, but I'm only just now remembering. <laughs> Continue. Continue. 
just place all these. And if we need to remove all the ramps just to make them consistent, then we can. And you. And you. And these got made quick. Doop 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 doo. -doo. That's the bottom. Perfect. So now we come back up here. <laughs> we have it's a, it looks kind of funny, but I mean it'll work. Um, and then that's fine. And then this one hasn't been dug yet. And then we want one here. This is a. Am I doing this right? Is this a wall? No, this is floor grate. I want a wall grate. Wall grate. Wall grate. Perfect. Now. <laughs> weird, weird perspective stuff going on, but that's fine. Um, obviously not all of this got dug. Probably because the only way they were getting in was through the grates. Oh well. Um, what's the best way to? What's the best way to make an access tunnel through here? Because we have. So this tile is the center of the whole thing. And it touches all of them. Maybe that's what we do. That's gonna... It's gonna short-circuit the waterworks themselves. How do we... Mm, maybe the simplest is just to <laughs> remove... There. Have you do that? And this still needs more, so yeah. Maybe I just got over over eager here. Um, but this one got fully dug, so this one's fine, right? They don't need to get in there. They don't need to get in here, or here, or here, or here, and then that's all fine, and that's all fine. Okay, we did mostly okay. Still waiting on someone to do that one. For whatever reason. Yeah, okay. So we'll let them do that. Um, another thing we care about. Uh, rodent people are fighting. Uh, more lignite. Inappropriate dig square. How you figured it out? Um, okay. So now, in theory, they can go down and take the rest of this, maybe? We'll see. I'll, I'll give them a moment to figure all that out. Uh, we might have some more blocks for our walls here. Yes, we do. Continue. Okay. Um, one thing I'm going to do is come into our our gather fruit zone and tell them to not gather fruit from the outside. Something like that. Um, obviously, there will still be fruit out here for a while, but they don't need to be running all the way around our walls as we complete them, so... Let's just focus on what's inside. So then we... <laughs> that's... the stout. Okay, so then we're gonna come straight across. I 
then we'll probably replicate some of this even. Come across here. Something like that. And obviously we're not perfectly centered. Um, have, we, have we made a functional trade depot here? We have. That's fine, and we can get rid of this. And let's get rid of... We're gonna undo quite a bit of this. That's fine. That's why it was temporary. Um, let's just... You know what? Rip. Don't eat it. Eat the castle! Some of that wood back at least. <laughs> so, so it's just gonna be running around outside. And that's okay with me. Um, but I think let's do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. here. We're not supposed to be. Why did that get me? <laughs> well, guys. Um, okay. So do I want, I'm thinking about like a, a gatehouse kind of a situation here. Um, one thing that I need to keep in mind more than I have in previous fortresses is line of sight for our defensive structures and such. Um, so we probably want like a serpentine of some kind. We could we could even incorporate this river into our defenses a bit. Have some kind of um, like a you know a flappy ground thing for falling. <laughs> um, but of course, it's going to be ice half the year anyway, so I don't know how effective that'll be. Is someone going to come remove? Okay. Um, but we can we can come across, and then cut across, and then come up, and then put in kind of a serpentine before they can actually get into the fortress. I think that's what makes sense to me. But people can walk across this. We don't have to make a floor or anything like that. Um, okay, so let's do let's do this. I'm gonna go across here. We're gonna need more jet for all this. Um, yeah, we'll come like this. And that's <laughs> that's all the jet we have for now. That's fine. sure we have more. There's more rock. They're fine. Let's just keep... Honestly, just... It's a quarry. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just do a door here. Like this. And that'll block line of sight into our big open area over here. Um, this is also a really funny door now. <laughs> it's gonna stay. Um, how are we doing here? This looks like it's all been dug. I think we did okay. Right? I just... Sometimes you just need to t check like 15 times. I have done what I intended to do, whether or not it was the smart thing, or the effective thing, that question remains. But I did the part I meant to do. I'll put these these couple floors back. And I 
nothing, there's nothing hiding there, yeah? Okay. Um, and then you're fine. Here we need a wall. Great. Here's fine, here's fine, here's fine, here's fine, here's fine. And then we're good. Perfect. Um. So then we mostly just need to link our lever situation, which is... How do I do this? Here's two, here's three. I don't have a four. Okay. Um, here. So we'll reserve this... We'll reserve like the first four even. Um, how about second column is waterworks? I think that makes sense. So this will be um, waterworks refill. It's and then this one's going to be waterworks access eight. Right. And this we link to. Uh, we'll go back down <laughs> here, and also here. And then come back down, and then the access gate needs mechanisms. Okay. Well, we have a we have a work order for mechanisms, so we'll get more. Right? Yes. Okay. That's fine. Alms and spearmen are fighting. I wonder if they're ambushers like the fish people were. Spent linkage. Oh, because I need to open the one gate to get to the other gates. Hilarious. <laughs> Someone please. Oh, look at all this. Hello. Yes, I am on early. Um, I apologize. Um, here, apologize. I have a, I have a, I scheduled a thing for when I'm usually streaming and forgot about it. And I was like, oh crap, I can't do both those things at the same time. Um, so I'm, I started early and I'll end a little bit early. Um, but I'm only halfway through, so there's still, there's still plenty of time left. I'm still here. Um, we're working on walls, migrants, and a giant lynx. Hi. Oh dear. Glad it's not agitated. Grouchy caught in the rain. Oh boy. Time works better for me, but I didn't know, so I was watching other folks. Oh yeah, no worries. I do still want to kind of fiddle with um with my fiddle with my time slot. Maybe it'll end up a bit earlier. I can't go too much earlier, because that's work <laughs> is in the mornings. Um so there's only so much play I can have with it, but um I do still think Fiddling with it some more is probably smart. I hope this, uh... I hope this Lynx is okay. Hope that won't become a problem. It works for you? Yeah. Well, I mean, to some degree, I do want people to actually be able to watch. Uh, okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And look, we already got all these more jet blocks, and then we'll come down to here. Jet blocks. And then the actual in area be here. Of course, we have to get rid of this stockpile. This should probably just be moved entirely, realistically. Um, should it be inside or outside? Eventually, we're gonna need we're gonna need a incinerator kind of a situation like we did last time. But mm -hmm. currently, I think like over here, and this will be refuse. That'll work. Um, and then I want, like, a serpentine entrance. I'll do that. I'll get us started, at least. Um, 
the main trick, the, the real trick every time, is that caravans can't go over traps. So you, to, to have a way for your caravan to get inside needs to be a way that is not as well defended as something that you can just cover with cage traps. So do you have like two different entrances? Maybe what we do is we have this kind of a, a situation and then we have another serpentine here and then put some cage traps here so that the basically the caravan entrance is like halfway through the defensive structure. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. I don't think. Um, and we can fix this. Oh, did we get more migrant? Did we get critters? Dog, cat. We just had some poults. We have... Oh, jeez. Look at all of our... Our cots. Uh, <laughs> we've caught some things. Stray cow-calf. Ooh. Cows are good. Can we domesticate stoats? I didn't realize we were... I didn't realize we had that many stoats. I thought it was the same stoat over and over again. Uh, aged. Aged giant stoats. And a cage. Look, we have a Sasquatch. Sasquatch killed a goat. But we got it in a cage. Um, I'm going to look up real quick if uh, we can train. And can you... Tr Train giant versions of things. Giant stoat. Exotic mount. Not hunting war trainable. Gonna be a pet. Is it tameable? Pet value. Yeah. Okay. So we could make to we could make pet stoats. We can't turn them into to war animals. Though I have seen. I was debating um some workshop mods. Um, that may or may not still happen, but I saw a workshop mod that allows you to war train everything. Because this game, this game says like you can have pets of a lot of things, but only some things are trainable for hunting and, and war assistance. Um, but I think there's a there's a workshop mod that lets you just do all of them. I'd love to. Maybe we can turn them into mounts with a mod too. That'd be cool. Anyway. Um, we're building, building wall, and then we also want a gate here now that we're not secure anymore. Uh, we'll do a bridge, and it will be closing this way, and built like this, and that can also be jet, because that's cool. And then, ultimately... We'll leave, we'll leave this for our, our caravan stuff. Um, I'll leave this area open for now. I think we're running low-ish on, on our... Um, whatchamacallits? Our, our jet. Um, but here, we can just do like this. And that's, that's, that's all the jet. Um, we'll do something like this. So then we'll have a way for caravans to get in, and then our actual fortress entrance will be over here. So people have to go through the caravan entrance, and then up, and then they'll go through another defensive structure that's for not caravans, and then they can get to the fortress. I think that's what we're doing. Look at that! Oh, I want it! We can just, so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we can try to catch things on purpose. I don't know if it works on giant critters. Uh, right. So we're, and then I guess I want another, I want another gate over here. Um, let's go this way and we do like, like that. And look, there's already more jet blocks. <laughs> cool. 
And then I guess I didn't plan this out. So we have one, two, three, and then a wall, and then one, two, three. And then, yeah, perfect. So we're just gonna have like one big loop. And then, yeah. And then... And then what? <laughs> Um, that's fine. Are you fishing? Fishing? And look, we're fishing inside our walls. We have all this food access without having to leave our walls. That's, that's ultimately what this is about. Um, and our, our pasture is almost fully inside. Um, up to, up to here. So I think... I'm actually gonna make... I guess this is all gonna be road eventually. I do worry about it though. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a wall here. Um, and that can be rock salt. We'll we'll make our our pen a little bit smaller. Oop. Except. Leave one in case someone gets stuck there. There, get back, get back inside. But that'll make me feel a little bit safer. Um, the stairwell is there, so that's good for that. And then we have this whole situation. Oh, and I forgot to. Dang it! Get rid of these real quick. Or we wouldn't. We don't have to. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do like this. We will channel here. Well, no, because we need to dig this first. We can't do that because stupid things. Okay, so remove those, dig these stairs, then we channel, and then we fill. And then we'll have a functioning well. It'll be a little bit before we can get our, our actual waterfall situation fully going. Um, but that's fine. What are you... What are you doing? Oh, we're paused. <laughs> like, why are you just standing there? Um, let's also... I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep mining. This whole... This whole level is just gonna be our quarry. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I mean, I do, I do like all this jet. It seems to be only on this level, really. Okay, so in theory... This has been linked? No? Why not? No. Should be able to do that one. Access gate. Here. Do. Do the thing. Let's make sure that they can actually do that. Um, we have rodent women in a, in our in our cave. Oh, we. Um, I don't know if you saw. We've we found a second cave, um, and it was like I thought. We accidentally went right through. Here's our, our original exploratory tunnel, and we we missed it on that floor. And then I didn't dig this high up because I thought we were I thought we didn't have something here. Uh, but here's our actual cave number one, and there's a couple of rodent people hanging out down here. Um, rodent spear people. So they are, the, they are the equivalent of the cavefish people from the last fortress. But on the plus side, there's no there's no water in this cave. We can fight them on the land. Which, like, I still don't want to go in there and, like, poke the bear too much. Like, look at this. They're just... They're keeping the, the, the cave clean of, um, alms and stuff, at the very least. Yes, there will always be something. Pretty sure. Oh, look, a troll. Troll running around. Anyway, um, so we have we have two caves already. Um, our other one is all the way down here. No wonder it was so deep. It's, it is filled with crundles. <laughs> Um, 
but in theory, like we saw a, there's a cave spider, a giant cave spider corpse down here. So in theory, we could maybe catch a cave spider at some point. Okay. Uh, so I want to do, do we want stairs? Or does it go like that? And I would like you to dig that like now, please. Um, then, yeah, okay, so they can go down there. And then, not fish people, it's rat people. If it's not rat people, it's bat people. If it's not bat people, it's frog people. I haven't seen a frog person yet. I don't think. I want frog people. That'd be very cool. Okay, so then this, that all got done. Cool. Is this linked? This is linked. Okay. So now I'm actually going to pull this. So that we can then get access to these other gates. Of course, now we have access from the surface, too. Um, yeah, so now we want to take this one. Oh, and it's even still... It's just been suspended. Try again. Cool. If those are linked, then we can close this. We do want to link both of these. Um, so let's go... This, I, want, I want this to be one of my hotkeys. F4... Oh, did I not? It was here. There, okay. So, this will be Outer Caravan Gate. This will be uh, Inner Wall Gate. And we'll link this up to that. And then we link this up to that. Cool. And then these are, these are going. Just got the one, but not the other so far. That's fine. Look at all this gypsum. Wow. Got all sorts of goodies. Uh, rodent woman, giant ohm, giant black bear. Mrs. the carpenter. Oh no. Oh no. I saw a skull fractured in there. Did someone just die? Carpenter punches the agitated giant black bear in the head. Broker punches the agitated giant black bear. Miner strikes the agitated black giant black bear in the head with pick. Wow. Oh. Thank you. In retrospect, that was... That could have been bad. <laughs> just... Agitated giant black bears wandering into the fortress. That's cool. Okay. Um. Yeah, we need to we need to make this secure. Um. So that's that's all fine. So let's go ahead and do this while I'm thinking about it. Go ahead and do rock salt block. Or should be friends with bears. I would be friends if it were friendly. Oh boy. I have a feeling they uh they're not here to. Teach us how to make honey. Okay. The miniature of a dwarf riding a bear that I painted. Perfect. Dwarves and bears are very cool. Um, I have a... I haven't, I haven't finished it, but I have a goblin riding a giant beetle that I'm really fond of. I just need to... I need to finish it. Uh, what am I doing? We are... Here. This, uh, here's what I want to do. I want to do at least one... One wall. How much do we have? We got more jet. It's fine. We're just gonna go like this. And we can put traps here. Um and then this this will eventually be closed. This will be closed. And then we'll make another entrance for our actual 
fortress area. Let's see. How do we do this? So I want to make... I'm going to make a wall here. I guess we should... What's the make Warhammer? No, it's, um... It doesn't belong to a specific game. It's just for tabletop. Um... Like a like D and D type stuff, but it's a it's a pewter one. I can't remember who made that one. I have a, a good collection of just like single models that I've picked up at conventions and stuff. Um, like a Reaper, we have a good, a good handful of things, but I don't think that one's a Reaper one. Um, my partner's working on a a, a Jabberwocky uh, from Reaper. That's really cool. It's like a they have a, a bunch of resin stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know where I don't know where I got that one. It's been sitting there undone, unfinished for for quite a while, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, okay, so I think what we're gonna do can I just can I turn this into stairs? Not really. I can build it into stairs. Let's do this. We'll have. Stair up to here, yeah. Or maybe I'm really curious if I just put a wall here, if this ramp is still workable. A lot of fantasy models that I just got off Etsy. Oh yeah. Uh, also have some Warhammer armies that I should be building and painting. And I'm not. I know that feel. Um, in 2020, I tried to paint a dwarf for every Swiss canton. That's a cool idea. Um, I have a set of space marines that I've inherited from a friend that I need to, like, follow through on. I was... Um, this is getting way sidetracked, but I, I was fiddling with um, those contrast paints that Warhammer does, or Citadel, I should say. Um, I wanted those. I wanted those to be cool. And they, they are, um, but the color scheme that I picked didn't have quite as much contrast as I wanted, I guess, ironically. Um, I was doing like a like a blue and a purple kind of a scheme, and it just was, it got kind of muddy um, by the time I got like the base coats on. I was kind of, like halfway through the first step, and I was like, eh, this isn't what I was really hoping for, so now I'm like... Do I do I keep going? Do I change tax? Do I buy more paints? Because that's what I need to do is buying more stuff does not need to happen. That's really the things. Decided that the things that I bought weren't exactly what I wanted, but I'm not just going to go out and duplicate that purchase, unfortunately. Anyway, um, we have... This is all done. This is... This is connected. So now we we want to close this one. We don't actually flood our fortress. It's always That's always a thing to avoid. And then we want to put our wall back over here. Jet blocks. And then we're just going to channel here, or channel these, and then these will be the last two bits to channel, and then that will introduce some water. Um, the main thing to 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 keep in mind with how we are setting all of this up. I'm going to wait until these walls are built and no one is for sure not stuck in here uh, before I actually flood it. But we don't have a drain at the bottom of our waterworks this time. Um, so instead of leaving the input water just on all the time, what we're going to need to do is keep an eye on it and turn it off when it's full. So. That's a, that's a manual thing that we will be doing here in a second. That is that's an important step. Otherwise, we would just fill it all up to the top. And that wouldn't be... 
I mean, with how we have it set up, that would fill our entire fortress up to the top because of all those wall gates. So, let's not do that. Um, perfect. Okay, and then I do want to put a floor here. Let's go ahead and plop down some traps. At least, at least, age traps, because you got a lot of stuff wandering in here. Uh, not quite worked with contrast paint yet. Yeah, they are. They're a cool idea. I'm not. I'm not knowledgeable enough in mini painting uh, to, to like really have a, a strong opinion. I know people have opinions about them. Um, I, I like the thought of them like being kind of a, a one coat application kind of a thing, but also it's also nice to have more control over things. I don't know. There's definitely a trade off there. Uh, okay, so now we for sure need to get this other entrance going. Maybe what we do is we can do a... No, we can't. <laughs> I was going to say we can ramp up here, but no. We cannot. We can... And we, where do we... we got water here. Ultimately, the question is where do we want to have our, our actual entrance be? I think kind of in the center here is the answer. Well, like here. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna build stairs from the bottom. We could even build a ramp from the from the bottom. Is that what we want? I don't know. I don't know. We definitely want to put a, a serpentine in there though. Maybe what we do, how about this? The actual entrance itself will be over, over here, because I want to leave room for things on this floor. Uh, so we'll say like, say like here. Then we'll let's come down like this. And then on this floor, we'll come down in here. And we'll do more like this. Or I want it the other way, don't I? But is that what I do? Maybe that's. Okay, we go we go this way. That's what we do. Okay. Come down one. And then one more. And then on this level. We have us come this way. Okay, because that'll be we'll get some wet stone notifications here, but that's fine. We're going under a lake. Um, and I don't want to be I don't want to go too far so that we're not under our situation. Uh, and ultimately, I want to come down here. Hmm. Is it really just right there? It is. How about this? How about this? Well, we go here, and then here, and then here. Near. Okay. We just got a, a ramp of five or so, and then it dumps out here, and then this can be our serpentine. Like that, and then we can put 
I don't want it to be too huge. I don't want it to be too long. But also, big enough to put a thing in here. I'll do that. That's not too big. So then this will be a... We can, we can station some dwarves in here. type of thing in this game that I would not know enough and flood everything. Flooding fortresses is like a rite of passage. <laughs> everyone, everyone floods a fortress. That's great. Um, okay, so then that will be our new main entrance. We will remove these and build a wall here instead to separate these two halves of this floor. And then dwarves can come in, and then they can just go down like they were, and then they will be in the fortress, and that will be fine. And then this looks all good, so I think we can dig. Do this one first so no one gets stranded. And they're building traps. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We could even build another gate over here to trap things in here. That'd be a good idea. Layers than a wash. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes sense to me. I do like washes. Everyone likes using contrast or a million highlights. Yeah. Um, I was uh, a friend of mine, the friend that I inherited the Space Marines from. Um, he pops in here even. Uh, he, w he was just explaining to me how every like the fad these days is uh, non-metallic metallics. Like replicating metallic effects with non-metallic paints, apparently. Which I find funny. Um, that's kind of the that's that's the gist of it. It's like it's replicating something you can use a single paint for, but using like five and using some very fancy, yeah, competitive G's. People are way into it. I I I love the craft. I love. Like, I just like making things. Um, but yeah, people people are people are into it. Okay. Water is flowing, and it's gotten here. Perfect. So I'm going to kind of let it do each stage at a time. See, now it's just going to fill. Now it's going to come all the way back up, and it's, it's just going to be full now. Um, so we'll wait for this to, to get dug as well. Uh, we're uncovering things. We are... Yeah. Handle. Whoop! Ooh, it, did you see that? Oh, come on. <laughs> I just got rid of those cage traps. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, hopefully it doesn't go deeper. Um, I do want to get this wall built. Let's go ahead and, and do that. Then this this is kind of a, a quasi-outside area. We should make sure to get all this taken care of. Um, this is where our trade stuff happens, but then our real entrance will be up here. And that's already done. Okay. Um, I even want to make a little... Like maybe a... Um, I don't know. A little hut. Uh, jet. Oh, and we could even turn this into... A... Uh, a thing for our... Windmills, that's a thing we should work on. Um, did these got linked? These got linked. Yeah. Um, do we have a, a hunter? We have a hunter, right? We have two hunters. Um, used to love the ones that won Golden Demon, yeah, but now it's more about showing off techniques and making a good looking model. Mm. Kind of, kind of agree. I, I'm sure you could ruffle a couple of feathers with that statement, but I, I'm with you. I do. I, I just, yeah. They should just, they should just look good. I don't really care about the technique. I feel like, is, is this dwarf gonna get stuck in here? Where are you? You're making blocks, so you're about to come out. So yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Lock the door. Quarry closed. Stoat inside. Don't don't open Stoughton's side. 
<laughs> um, and then once I once we finish this, then maybe we'll open it, and then it, then at least it can run out. Um, okay. And someone dig that, please. That's all I want. Are those your cats? Do you have two cats? Relations. Wife, Dee Dee. Where? No? Stray cat. Stray cat following a person. Okay, that's fine. They can do that. What's all this? Furrowed silt. Huh. Weird. Uh, okay, someone's coming. Perfect. So, we have water that can come in. This is closed. Oh, I don't want to flood... I don't necessarily want to flood the pump stack. Stack? This is... For mainly that reason, it will just drain in. Maybe we just do... Let's just make a door here. I think... If we lock the door, then it will be safe? Question mark. We'll find out. Um, cause, cause the alternative would be to come up here and put in a floodgate here. It's probably the real answer. Crandall's fighting. Needs jet. Yeah. We're kind of good on jet blocks at the moment. Okay, so then nobody open this door. Okay, so now we want to find this lever and pull it once. I'm also going to go ahead and tell them to build a floor over this so that no one falls inside. Because that would be sad. Um, and this, you want eight. Let's do... Oh, we've already found marble. Ooh. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of rock salt. That's fine. Let's do that. Don't need to be fancy. Um, but let's let's watch the water. Make sure nothing terrible happens. Okay. And yes, of course it's gonna go down here. But look, the waterfall part is just gonna work immediately. Here we got mist. And then the water comes down, and then here we have mist. And the water comes down, and look at all this mist. Okay. And then you got a little bit of water splashing out. But that's that's perfect. Yeah, we got mist all the way out. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. So then, oop, did this already... Why is this one full? Is that just how it works okay this is this is a draining right yeah we're draining and okay, nothing's overflowing right this is so full it seems okay and this one's going okay it's yeah okay we're fine here and now we are filling our our reservoir perfect so once this is full we're gonna shut it off even like maybe like half full even because this is, this is two levels i don't want there to be too much extra water in here don't go down here you do not need to be down here Okay, if you please leave. Oh, and then a cat. Cat. Okay, let's lock these real quick. Cat masters the art of standing in the way, then getting annoyed and attacking you for going in his space. Yep. <laughs> Sounds right. Okay. We're 
Florin. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like it's... Oh, and we're saving. Okay. It looks like it's working. We're going to have to make our pumps, and we're going to have to make our windmills. Particularly noticing now it's warm enough for shorts. Yeah, you got some... Uh... <laughs> Do you... Uh, we Like, we trim our cat's claws um, when we remember. Uh, but some people put, like, little caps on them. Okay, so now this is this is going. I'm tempted to let's go ahead and turn off the water and we'll let the rest of what's in here kind of drain. And hopefully that will be the right amount. Will not let us. We used to get get to the, the vet to do it, but our current vet isn't keen on doing it. Oh that's disappointing. Um yeah, <laughs> they can be they can be picky about their paws. Uh, okay, that got closed. Now we're just gonna let all of this water drain the rest of the way. There might be more in here than we need. We'll we'll see. It's, it's probably fine. Maybe we need, like, a, a bleed-off <laughs> mechanism. Or is like the running water? Yeah. They like the mist is the main thing that we're doing here. Okay, so then while we filled it, and now we still have a fair bit of water in here. So some of this might leak out. Um, that's also fine. So, so what's going on here is we have our we have our little spiral, right? Um, on and on each each landing, basically, there's a a handful of floor grates, and then there's a grate in the wall, and then behind the wall grate there is a vertical shaft that water is falling through, so that as the water falls, it mists. We'll see if we can get any. Like, see here, here's mist. Um, and, and the mist kind of wafts out. So you have mist in, out in here too. So as the dwarves walk through the mist, they get a happy thought. The idea here, hopefully, we'll see how effective this is, but in theory, people are observing waterfalls and walking through mist. Yeah, we're, we're, we're leaking a little. Um, but that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be hard to build our, our, um, whatchamacallit, our pump stack inside a thing that is flooded. That's fine. I'm gonna let this settle and see what we're dealing with. But our, our hallway here is gonna be a little flooded temporarily. Um, we could even just make our cistern bigger, realistically. We... If we did like, I want to dig it from above, right? Anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah, we are slightly flooding our fortress. Good thing we had an off button. Otherwise, our entire fortress would just be underwater by now. Anyway, um, yeah. Okay, so that got made. So I'm gonna make a little bridge here as well. A little last line of defense situation. Look at all this jet we have. That might be enough jet. <laughs> we might be good. Um, rock blocks. Let's go ahead and turn that off for now. There's other, other jobs to be done. But one thing we care about now is our ability to generate power. Like, it's already... it's autumn, and our, our stuff is already frozen over again. There's no power coming from our, our water wheels here. So we want to do windmills. Which means... making spots for windmills. 
I want to leave as much room for trees as possible, because, like, look at all this. This is all... Bayberries? Just... They all just fell on the ground. What are you doing? You're just... You're just out here? Okay. Please do not just hang out outside the walls. It is not where you need to be. Um, okay, that's fine. And in, in theory, our wells are functional now. Yeah, wells operational. Wells operational. For now. This is all... There's water in here, but it's not flowing because it's all in ones. That'll slowly evaporate. And then here we have we have one level that's at five. And some some water in here. That's fine. This is right. Okay, so that's a a slope down that I have not continued. Uh, Passages for. Okay, so this is fine. Um, if we come back up here, then we can we can open these. I am gonna tell him to build a floor on top of these stairs, so no one tries to go down into our, our water area. Uh, but we can do that. We don't have soap going yet, but that'll eventually be what goes here. beer barrel. Look at our food stocks. Holy cow. We ha we don't have a single farm. We have this much food from picking stuff off the ground. That is so good. Okay. And the way that we fix <laughs> this bottom part is by doing something from above. Really, we should have a stairwell that's going alongside the pump stack in some way. That'll be a thing to deal with. But if our... so... so let's, let's do something like this. just drain into the cave. Blood the rats. Because it's just... It's just here. Maybe... Maybe anything here? Let's say, let's say like here. That, that one, that one, go there. Okay, perfect. So, we're gonna make a little drain here. And, yeah, let's do like this. Stairs down to here. And then we will channel this and then no, because you'd need to do that from the side. Yeah. We want to... We want our drain to be over here. Right? Because then we can... We can open it up by digging here. That's really the key. Then we'll dig here. We go down to here. I mean, we wouldn't even have to do that. We could do like here, 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 here. Here's what we do. Um, stairs can stay well, here. <laughs> Here's how we do this. We go stairs. Down to here. I don't want it one over. Well, no, this is fine. This is fine. Or do like we did with our 
our mysterious pillars. Um, we're just gonna dig. We're gonna dig a drain, and then we're gonna have to link it here. Um, but we'll we'll dig above. That's fine. We can do that, and this water will drain down these stairs. And then we'll just carve a fortification here, and then the water can flow out into the cave. That's our that's our overflow. And we can do that without opening the cave. What the f elk birds? Oh dear! I've seen elk birds before. I haven't seen the sprite before. That's that's creepy. Elk birds got a got a creep upgrade. <laughs> hmm. It's like the cross between a jackalope and an ostrich. They used to be kind of, uh, not friendly looking, but like more more eccentric than than creepy. <laughs> yeah, fine. I don't think they're too dangerous. You can see they're just running away from the rat people. Okay, we're right digging here. While that's going, what else are we working on? We are working on pump stack. So to make a pump, you need a block and a pipe and a screw in addition to your power. We've been making blocks. And I think we can make the rest out of wood. My my yeah, so we can make a wooden pipe. And we can make this this needs to move. <laughs> A uh, wooden enorm enormous wooden corkscrew. So yeah, um, we could make this out of like glass or metal or things like that, um, but we don't have any kind of forging stuff going on right now. So um, I think we're just gonna make it out of wood because it's not very big, like. How many pumps do we actually need? I think we need like, like nine. Probably not even that many, because I, I counted before and it was nine, and then I removed some. We need one on this level. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How did I? Maybe it was like. Uh, oh, math. <laughs> we need... But yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. So we need 10 pumps. That's easy. So 10 wooden corkscrews and 10 wooden... Uh, what was the other thing? <laughs> pipes. 10 wooden pipes. And then the rest is just rock blocks, and that, that'll be fine. So then we care about power. My, my understanding of windmills is that the... In, because my understanding of wind is that the entire map has the same amount of wind at any time. Um, there's like some some world gen settings and randomness into the strength of the wind and the direction of the wind, and part of it's de determined by uh, like latitude within your world map. Blah blah blah. Um, I think we're probably in, in the fact that we're on like flat land here. I think we're going to end up with the lowest amount of power per windmill, but I think even with that we only need a handful. Uh, my previous calculation was like nine windmills and then we removed like four levels. It was probably only need like eight realistically. Um, so yeah, all that to say, I 
think I want... I guess we could do them over the lakes. Nothing, Nothing's growing here. Maybe that's what we do. Um, outpost liaison from Becca Rings has arrived. I believe that is... That's Elder Ring. Yeah, here come the here come the dwarves. Let's see, we could even look. This is a merchant. You aren't you're part of the dip ceiling, which are civilization, so that's not too surprising. Okay, and so this this all works. People still able to get up here? I guess that's <laughs> the main question I haven't answered. You seem to think so. And yeah, just go down. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm going to request our broker, because we have one. I'm going to move crafts. In theory, we have some crafts. Weapons, finished goods. Yeah, perfect. It's all... No, not the jugs. I don't want to get rid of the jugs. I haven't made a specific... <laughs> I haven't made a specific stockpile for trade goods yet. What about here? Crafts, 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 amulets. No, not the high. We'll just have to nest boxes. Yeah, okay. We'll have to mark things individually. But look at all the stuff we have. And all these. Figurine shell. Figuring. Figurine of Asmal Riddle Maze is the rumor. My brain just stopped there for a second. This says this has some stuff in it too. Yeah, okay. We'll we'll have to separate our, our stockpiles, but um, go ahead and bring go ahead and bring these. Awaiting two items. Perfect. We could even like put a door here that is closed at all times and then only open it when we have traders. Maybe that's a smart thing to do. Because we could even put our like our stockpile for our um for our stuff. Maybe that goes down here. For our trade goods. Maybe we put that like here. I think that makes sense to me. Diplomacy. Uh, Leader Rigoth meets with outpost liaison Edzul. Information shared. Okay. Um, let's import some leather. Leather is good. Probably also like cloth for now. That's what we should be importing. Um, and then Seedger is going to have underground seeds, which we're, we're fine on. Not even growing underground stuff yet. We're in year two. And we haven't even built a farm. And it's okay. <laughs> it's very surprising. Um, and of course, I made this in a weird... <laughs> Is there a way in? Not really. Whatever. We'll figure this out. Um, oh, <laughs> we should let the stoat out. <laughs> you want to leave? There you go. Goodbye. Okay. Um, caravan, autumn, crafts. Cool. Things are getting done. That's another stoat. So I'm basically going to build a platform over this lake that has enough room for 8 to 10 windmills? Because we want a little bit extra for things like um, like millstones. Um, but even then, we won't need much. So maybe just room for... Room for 8 with the option to expand. Um, and each one is, is a 3x3. Is a three three. So, we say we start over here. Give a give a little bit of a, a buffer between the wall and, and this. 
Um, because ultimately we might want to like build uh, build like a walkway around the top here for for archers and such. Um, but that'll be that'll be a little further out. We could do like if we did one here. I'm gonna pause so they don't just accidentally make the stuff before I'm good. <laughs> but um, so we'll do three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That would be th three windmills. And then if it was one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that would be nine windmills. Maybe that's all we... And of course there's a... Uh, we'll do... I mean, we don't even technically need... <laughs> Uh, posts in all four corners, but you know. Um, how do we? So we can't go. This, this is fine. And then we'll do like a just a stairwell. Um, say like here. I actually don't know if they can walk between, if they can, if windmills are passable tiles, I don't actually know. I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll build that and then we'll build a floor and then we'll build windmills on top of the floor and then we'll just need to write, route power down. Um, but that leaves, leaves, that leaves all our space here relatively untouched and still have, still have three you know, not trees growing like that. Of course, there's a bayberry sapling right there. Um, but that's fine. Like, this highwood will still be okay. This bayberry will still be okay. I think that'll be fine. And, like, all these shrubs. Like, all these shrubs will be fine. I do like this jet. And there's a bayberry there, even... Anyway, so, okay. Um, I'm going to start by making a floor. We can just do like... Of course, I need to do that. Is, it's all going to be jet. It's fine. Do all this. Because this counts as... Or no, I'm on the wrong floor. Ignore me. Of course, now I need to... There's a there's a thing in here. What is it? Uh, design? No, it provides point-and-click interface, shapes, supports both digging. No, I don't think that's what I want. I just want to... No. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I need to, like, get all the DF hack stuff in my brain. It's like, I know generally what it can do, but it's not quite, like, accessible in here. Okay. Get rid of all these. Here, because these, yeah, that counts as floor. Now I just want to construct floor. It's like, okay, weird. I'll do like that, like this. I'll start with that and see, uh, see how building windmills up there goes, just to make sure it's all gonna work the way I think it does, or should. You look, another caught giant stoat. We should make a spot to train the stoats. Um, which now that we have, like our pin situation, they're 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 all actually just trapped in here. Um, okay. I want I want to maintain this as the entrance without branching off from it. 
Um, because we can put all sorts of traps and stuff in here. So the way to the pen and the potential farm and beehive areas will be... Bee, uh-huh. Um, I guess we'll come up through here. We'll, we'll do some stairs here. Don't, don't need to be completely free of stairs. Um, but we could do like... What if it were like this? Nope. We could do... I mean, we could come up through there, but that's not quite what I'm wanting. And then here is fine. Okay. If we do that, then we can have something coming this way. Something coming this way. Right? What if we just do this? And then... Well, this is, this is still kind of... What am I doing? Arm... Bees? Or just... I mean... I mean, we can just do something like this, and then this can be our seeds. Doesn't even need to be that big. Am I still... No, okay. This. We'll stay inside our walls. Okay. So then I think this will be fine for a farm. Like, we really don't need that much farm space in here because we're getting so much from the surface. Um, and this will be our seeds. Realistically. Hmm. Here's a conundrum. I want to have an indoor surface plant farm. That means we would need to take either an open area here and turn it into farms, or we can dig, like, we can dig a pit and then put a ceiling back over it, but then that ceiling wouldn't continue to grow things, right? Because then it would be made of wood or whatever instead of... instead of ground. Hmm. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Maybe that's not an answer. Not a thing I answer right now. Um, let's see. Machine. Windmill. I assume it needs to, yeah. Needs to be fully on the ground. Okay. But just go ahead and make that, and then I'm curious to see if they can, like, walk through it still. Um, or if we need passages between everything. Anyway, um, our... You doing? Listening to poetry. Perfect. And our food is all looking good. And how's our stockpiles? Oh my goodness. Look at all this furniture. Um, and th that's all in boxes and stuff. My goodness. Okay. So now... This got dug. This got dug. Perfect. So now... We want to smooth. We can even do this one too. We can even do this one. It all, it all works. carve fortifications through those walls. Yeah, just do the whole thing right now. That'd be great. Teamwork. 
Uh, merchants will be leaving soon. Let's make sure that we actually trade with them. Broker is here. Cool. Nope, not that button. This button. Okay. Um, shift. So I want to select items inside bin. And then just unselect things like jugs. And eyes and ropes. Hive and rock nest. Nest box. Jeez. Uh, splint we can keep. I we want. Doop doop doo. That all seems fine. Okay. That's still 800 worth. And I don't know how much we even need to buy. Did you bring any cloth or anything? We have a bunch of ground, like underground seeds. Like, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, here's some leather. We have cloth. I guess I didn't ask him for... But I did ask them for cloth this time. Look at all this leather. Wow. Oh, uh, I guess we're buying some leather. No cloth, no cloth at all. Jeez. Okay. Unusual farm for seven hundred. Not quite yet. Uh, let's do leather, 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 leather. Like you see how cheap these, like a bin of a, of ten leather is worth a hundred. Okay, let's do one less and trade. Cool, perfect. No trader needed. Good job. That's all. Yeah. Oh, and we need to actually like probably. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Okay, and then we're coming down here. And then, yeah, there's fortifications. Microcline fortifications. Perfect. Um, I guess there's one more. I'm gonna do right there. And then we'll close it off. And drain our little overflow. Giant rat! Big rat! Also, I'll be stopping in like five minutes. I need to stop before the top of the hour, but uh, that's fine. Okay, so now our drain is there. We just need to channel these two tiles. And then we'll, we'll build floor over this. So no one gets swept away. Um, and of course now they're all digging in a different place. It's fine. Interrupted by agitated giant stoat. Oh, and are they agitated now? They're agitated now. Okay, cool. So this is built. It's creating 20 power. Very cool. I think that's the the bottom. <laughs> I think that's the least they can make. But each level of uh, a pump, like a pump takes 10. So a windmill can power two pumps. So cool. Uh, let's see. Let's do another. Let's do another. Because I'm curious if they can walk through that and get to there. So we'll see. All of this is getting done. Oh, that's our ice wall. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, I guess it's, it's the start of winter, so we're fine, but make sure that that doesn't turn into, uh, turn into a thing. So I guess we could flood really easily. Maybe that's what we do. We put a floodgate here. Damn. Now we can flood our farm. Rat. And we can get back to our animals again. They were a little, they were abandoned for a little bit. Okay. Look, it's draining. 
Bring it into the cave. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're good. I think we're... I think we're good. Because now... Now we can start making the actual... Uh-oh. Did you fall in? No. What happened to you? Was it a giant stoat? Are the stoats getting... Oh, grizzly bear. I take it back. The agitated grizzly bear attacks the boyer. It wasn't even a giant grizzly bear. It's just an agitated bear. Uh... Where's... Oh, and you... Oh, there's two bodies. There's the bear. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just close the door. Um... Or have the merchants left yet? Maybe the merchants will take care of it. Are they, are they leaving right now? Not quite yet. Oh dear. Oh dear, and now it's inside. Just go into the cage. Or leave. Both of those are options. Oh no! No, no, no. Oh good, migrants. <laughs> no. Bear. Oh, uh, did we just fling some friends? We just flung a bear. The gate swung up while the bear was on it. And uh, now the bear is in the air. Uh, let's... Is it still... Is it still going up? It's still going up. We could go one frame by frame. Air bear. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we're gonna end up in a tree. It went over the tree. It fully cleared the tree. And now we have landed. Heavily bleeding, seriously injured. We just yeeted a tree. You yeeted a bear. Dreams inched. Dreams cinched. Uh. That was cool, I guess. But our, but our migrants are outside. Okay, uh, pull it, just pull it again. Now that the bear is injured, hopefully it's injured enough to not attack migrants. Uh, or the migrants could attack it. Are you armed? No. No. Are you just gonna punch a bear? You saw a bear flying over a tree and you decided to go to it and punch it? I mean, okay. Are you injured? No, you're fine. Hopefully this door opens. Okay, now go go in, dwarves. Where'd the other one go? You didn't die, did you? You went all the way around. Okay, and then you are also going all the way around. And the bear is still alive. Not doing good. What are you? Are you a merchant? Why are you here? You're, you're still attacking the bear. There, now it's dead. Thank you, axe dwarf. <laughs> okay. Uh on that note, geez. Uh we made a whole bunch of progress, but I need to stop so that I don't miss an appointment and get charged. Um so yes, uh Morador Fortress on Thursday. We will pick up right exactly where we are right now and we will build the pump stack and get the windmills going and we're going to have permanent waterfalls going everywhere. And it's gonna be great and then we have other things to do we can we'll, we'll work on our underground farm area um, we'll make beehives we'll we'll get all that going um, and then hopefully eventually we'll get like a breeding pair of llamas or something and we'll get clothes going um, hope your appointment goes well yeah it'll be fine yeah um, yeah have a good week and have a good rest of your day and stay kind <laughs>